Now we'll start with another operable controls that is text entry or read only controls. So generally in this text entry controls, generally text, uh, text boxes or uh, text area. I mean uh, that will come. So generally this text entry controls uh, contains the text that that is ex exclusively entered by or modified through the keyboard, right? So you know the text boxes or you know the text area where we'll enter the uh, text, right? So in that text box, we have to enter the data through the keyboard, right? So generally we need to enter or modify the data in the text boxes through the keyboard. So what is the description, general description? Generally it will be in the uh, rectangular in shape where the text may be entered or edited, where text may be displayed for read-only purpose also and for be editing also. It can be for read, maybe for read-only purpose also. Then the second point is talking about like, uh, usually it possesses a caption describing the kind of information contained in it, right? So when we'll, we need to enter some data into the uh, text area. Besides that, there will be a caption which will be saying that enter your name, enter your USA, right? Login ID, password. So that is caption which is just beside your text box or text area. So that it generally possesses a captions. Then there will be an outline field border which will be talking about the editable text box which is talking, which will be having that border. Then Generally, it can be a single line text box or it can be a multiple line text area, right? And when first displayed, text box will be blank or it can contain an initial value. So that is a general description. What is the purpose? To permit the display, entering or editing of the textual uh, information or to display the read-only information. So that is possible that we can use it only for read-only purpose also, where, where we wanted to show the information which is only for read-only, not for the editable. Advantages, very flexible, familiar, consumes a little screen space. Disadvantages, requires use of typewriter keyboard or requires the users to remember what must be keyed so what must be entered, right? So uh, you need to enter through a keyboard. So you need to type. So you need to remember to type it, right? So sometimes we'll give a, in the text box also, we'll give a, a drop down list, where in drop down list, the list of the items will be there and from which we can select one. For example, suppose I'm a user where I wanted to enter a, uh, name of the city and if name of the city is Thiruvantanpuram, so it is so big I cannot remember the spelling of that. So I need to remember the spelling of the uh, city, right? But in the same time, if the drop down list is there along with the text area and the city names are there, so I don't have to remember the spelling of the Thiruvantanpuram where I can directly enter, go to that and can click on that and it will accept that entry but it is a plain text area. So we need to remember that, right? That is the disadvantage. Proper use, uh, proper users of that, most useful for the data that is unlimited in scope, difficult to categorize of a variety of different lengths, right? All this, so, okay. So in the text area, in the text, I mean, uh, text entry controls. It can be multi-line or it can be a single line text boxes. If it's a single line text boxes, it will be a single line, correct? And the purpose is to make the textual entries when the information can be contained within a one line of screen. So what is the typical uses? Typing the name of the file to save, typing the path of the file to copy, typing the variable data on the form 
or typing a command. So that is all. If it is a single line command is there, single line data is there, we will go for a single line text boxes. But if it is a multiple line, if the data is more, well, uh, then we should go for the text area. So if it is a multiple line, a rectangular box with the multiple line of the text. Purpose is same to type or edit or read the passages of the text. Generally, it will be useful where the creating or reading an electronic mail messages, displaying or editing the text files and all. So it, it can be a single line or multiple line text boxes. Now, with respect to this uh, text boxes, what are the components of the text boxes? The first is the caption, right? Every text box should have a caption. So how the captions will be? See here, entry or modification. This is the caption of that. So which will be, you need to in, enter something in this. So, uh, or we can say a simple, name of name of the person so he can enter here the name of the person so it's provide a descriptive caption to identify the kind of information to be typed or contained within the text box you can use a mixed case font and display the caption in normal intensity or in a no, in a color of moderate brightness so these are the some general guidelines with respect to structure and sizes of that which is it should not be unnecessary you should not have a very big big uh, text box right precise which is how much it is required for that particular uh, information keep it um, as per that and you can see here that there is a caption which is telling which has a meaningful it should have a meaning what kind of information we should enter. So actually this more than this example, some other examples I would have put. OK, when it comes to the formatting, just see that here in this example, the composition is the caption and there is a colon. So it is saying that position the filled caption to the left side of the text box. And after that, place a colon and separate the colon from the text box by one space. So you can see that after colon, there is a one space and then the text box is there. So generally, whenever we are creating a text boxes or something, you have to see that you should have a caption. After that, there should be a colon, there should be a one space, and then actually text box should be there. That is what the formatting guidelines, if it is a single field or alternate way is what alternate way is that you can put it on the top of the text box so when you are putting on the top of the text box also it should be a upper left corner right so this is the upper left corner of the this box and there should be a colon after that so this is also correct this is also correct so generally these are the general guidelines not mandatory guidelines but these are the general guidelines then going for the next if it is a multiple, right? So if it is a multiple occurrences of the field like this, you can have like this or you can have a complete text box also and uh, text area also. And again, you can put like this or you can put left of, of the this one also. Now, suppose your data is of fixed length, like see the example given date. So all the date format is same. So as the format is same, the size of the uh, date is also fixed. Everything will be almost of eight characters. So when the size of the information which you are entering into a text box, if it is of fixed length, then always center aligned it. It should be a center aligned within the text box. So then it will be uh, it will give a good look. If it is a alphanumeric, if your data which you are entering, it is if it is a alphanumeric, then uh, you sh it should be a left justified. It should be a left aligned, right? If it is of variable length, if it is numeric and variable length like this, this is all number, all the numbers and all are variable no fixed number 
so it should be right align so these are the when you are uh, setting up the text boxes you can set the properties like that which is based on what kind of data will be entered into that particular text box then you can see that uh, the you may have the structure where it's a single like this savings right so identify the entry and modification text boxes with the line border or reverse polarity uh, rectangle box to view visually indicate that it is a enterable field present a box in a recessed manner so it is like uh, if it is enterable field and if it is not enterable field like it is only for read only or it is for editable then you can visually you can indicate that this is enterable or it is not enterable field so you can deem this particular rectangle or you can highlight this if it is enterable like that visually you should show the difference then you can go for such kind of structure also where you can put a date where three components of the dates with the three boxes date month and year so you can go with this way also you can go for the telephone this way also where multiple text boxes are there or you can go with the, this way also the, these are all different different guidelines which is talking about you can break the long text boxes through a small slash or through a uh, this whole uh, this i mean this brackets where the telephone or what is that st uh, standard local this one uh, will be there and then coming to the some more with respect to text entry control what should be the size size to indicate the appro approximate length of the field so it should not be unnecessary you know that the name of the uh, person will not cross more than uh, uh, more than 30 characters or something so unnecessary you should not make a very big text box you know that the entry for the semester will be only a single digit so when it's a single digit it should not be a text box of single digit also and it should not be very big also so accordingly that you should put a size of this when is the text box for the fixed length data must be large enough to contain the entire entry right it should not be more than that if it is of variable length of data then it should be large enough to contain the majority of the entries right so as i said if the uh, name of the city so if the name of the city we know it will not be more than some uh, 25 characters so maximum it should be the text box should be of 25 characters so like that highlighting when it comes to highlighting call the attention to text box data through the highlighting techniques higher intensity if the color is used choose one or one that both complement the screen background and the contrast well with it so whenever you are using the text box and you need to show that you need to i mean in that text box the entry should be done so user should get attracted or you user should get that here the value of the name or value of the uh, information need to be entered so you should have a, some kinds of highlighting techniques where the user will easily catch the entry point and unavailable unavailable fields as usual it should be gray out which should be saying that the entry is not allowed here font always have a uh, support a multiple font go for the rich text kind of font so this is with respect to the text text entry controls so, so tomorrow we'll go for the uh, next selection control where we have radio buttons check box list box 
drop down list or pop up list box palettes all through which we are selecting and the entry is happening right this is also for in giving entry for entering some value but we are entering the value through selecting something that's why it's a selection control so tomorrow we'll go for this selection control if you